Welcome back everyone. Have you ever wanted to turn back the hands of time, if even just for a bit? Well, in a way, you can with Affinity Photo 2. I'm going to show you a technique to remove wrinkles from your face. This is a pretty quick and easy process. So, as an added bonus, I'll also show you how to add wrinkles to a young person as well. Stick around to see both processes. I've got a picture of this beautiful older woman I'll call Emma. Someone is writing a story about her in the local paper and she asked if I could touch up some of those laugh lines of hers. Let me show you how I did it. First, I'm going to duplicate the layer just in case I mess something up. Then, I'm going to go to Filter in the menu and select Frequency Separation. Up pops a split screen. On the left are the high frequencies which contain the textures. On the right are the low frequencies which contain the colours. I'm going to move the split screen over to the right a bit. And then I'm going to adjust the radius slider until I can see all of Emma's major wrinkles. Once I have it where I want it, I'll click Apply. This will create two new layers, one for the highs and the other for the lows. The wrinkles are primarily textures, so they'll show up in the high frequency side. I turned off the low frequency layer and then selected the inpainting tool on the left side toolbar. I'm going to use the inpainting tool to paint away the major wrinkle textures. This takes a bit of time as there are quite a few wrinkles to work with. You don't want to erase them all or the picture won't look right, just go after the biggest ones. I'll speed this up a bit. I don't want to bore you, so I'll go about four times speed. But please stick around if you can. Remember, there's a bonus section here. While you are watching me, feel free to click those like or subscribe buttons. I really appreciate knowing that you care. Almost done, just a few more wrinkles to go. I'm going to make my inpainting brush a bit bigger by clicking on the right square bracket a few times. This will help me blend in all these spots on her neck and the tiny wrinkles on her chin a bit. Okay, now I'll turn the low frequency layer back on so the color shows through. I'll then select both the high and low frequency layers, right click on them and select group. By turning the group layer on and off, you can really see the difference it makes. Emma looks 10 years younger. I hope this makes her very happy. Okay, now for the bonus content I told you about. I got this idea while originally working on Emma. What if I used the high frequency separation of an older woman on top of a photo of a younger woman? This here is my first attempt to do this and I've only edited for brevity. So here it goes. I started with pictures of two women, one younger on the top layer and one older on the bottom layer. I lined the two up by rotating the bottom picture and aligning their eyes. Now I'll turn off the top layer by clicking on the little button to the right of the layer. And I'll select the bottom layer. I'll go back to filters and then frequency separation. I'll move the radius slider to the right to make the older woman's wrinkles stand out. That should do nicely. Notice, I now have both a high and low frequency layer for the older woman. I'll move the high frequency texture layer to the top layer. And I'll delete the low frequency color layer as I don't need it anymore. Now, I'll turn the younger women's layer back on. And I'll use the crop tool on the left side toolbar to crop the picture a bit so the focus is on her face. Next, I'll select the high frequency layer and then click the mask button at the bottom of the layers panel. With the mask selected, I'll then go to layer in the menu and click on invert to invert the mask. With an inverted mask, everything on the top layer is hidden until you paint it white to show what's underneath. I'll select my brush tool and then a larger soft brush from the brushes panel. With the mask layer selected, I'll paint around her face a bit to show the texture. I'll make sure the colour is set to white and paint on the years. This is sped up quite a bit, but you can see that the older woman's textures are now being applied to the younger woman's face. If you ever want to see what you might look like when you're older, 
This is one way to achieve that, I guess. While I do a little touch up, I wanted to thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate that you are watching. Making YouTube content requires lots of caffeine. There's a link in the description below if you want to buy me a coffee. Or if you could click those like and subscribe buttons below, that would be awesome too. It really will help my young little channel to grow up to be an old wrinkled channel someday. Have a great one, everybody. See you next time.